but I am just making sure I've got everything set up properly. So I have to do an update and change a load of stuff. Everything is still working fine, so we'll make a start. Because this could take quite a while. This is one of the toughest game, toughest bosses in the entire series, I reckon. So we could be here a while. How are you both doing? How are you doing, Dave? Bort? Make sure we're on the right character. Oh yeah, we're going back to Fire Link, hadn't we? So... Ring, ring... Int... Casting time... Got that staff... That for, uh... Increased damage... And we're going for 10 and 5. And yeah, we've used all of our souls and stuff, so... get Reeves to controls after playing a shit ton of uh, Elden Ring again and we're going to Ariandel Chapel <laughs> starting the child labour already you're going to start it at some point Um, I need to edit this camera a bit. There we go, that's better. Enchilada sounds good. Um, right, so we've got Crystal Soul Mass for when she goes invisible. Spear, heavy arrow for the uh, final phase. Let's start the attempts rolling. See how many times I press the wrong button because I still think I'm playing Elden Ring. You stop that. Now is when we need this because 
do that. No. Right, need to get the timing down again. Yeah, I've uh, finished my first playthrough of Elden Ring with my Faith character, who's now been redone for a uh, PvP and has all the bleed stuff at the moment, seeing as that's what seems to be the meta. And then I've started my second character, who is the big strong boy with all the strength stuff. And I'm alright. I had work today and it was boring. But I was, at least I wasn't in the office. Nobody likes going in the office anymore. It is just a thing we have to do. That none of us want to do, really. But at least I wasn't knackered like I was yesterday. Get away, I know you're behind me. And done. <laughs> I would if I got a chance, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're only making us go in at the moment so they can justify playing, paying rent. That's all it is. Oh, the video's chugging a bit. But yeah, uh, at least I'm at home today and tomorrow. Although I'm back in the office on Sunday. <laughs> Where is Ariandel actually waking up? Oh, it's Spike! Spike is officially first. Yeah, it's... I work f five days a week, three days out of the office and two days in. But it changes each week which two days I'm actually in the office is so. Everything's on fire. Time for the interesting bit. See, this phase wasn't so bad last time I did it. Because I could alternate shots. By the way. Oh, Same for the big guy. No. Bad. Ow. It might be. Um. Like I said, I had an update earlier, and it's got rid of a load of stuff. Uh, no, it's like, yeah, it's really annoying. We wish they'd change it, change it to rolling days. So, for example, I'll get my rotor up. Our work week starts Saturday. So it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So this week, my days in the office were Tuesday, Wednesday. Next week, it's Sunday, Monday. The week after, it's Saturday, Friday. Because if I ever have to be in any of the days at the weekend, either a Saturday or a Sunday, they want to make that an, a day we're in the office. So the week after next, I have to be in the office on Saturday because I'm working Saturday, but 
I have Sunday and Monday off. I'm working at home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then back in the office on Friday. And then the week after that, I have Thursday, Friday in the office. And it is just a ball ache. You can hear me breathing. Oh, you can. Why are you doing that? Um. This better? Closed spike, that's what it is. Right, um, Crystal Solispia. No, it's because you had your ears closed. Stop dodging. Phase one before. Oh no, wasn't fast enough. It's not a very good attempt. That rolling, I can't do any of those, Dave. It's just run away. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's literally a case of, like, I've got to try and keep distance with her. If I do deck, get close, I can roll, but... Oh, yeah. Gale's available blah, for this blah, fight. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I can summon Gale for this fight. Which would make it a piece of piss. So I'm not gonna. It is only mildly more difficult that they make the boss. But Gale is a decent fighter and with my damage it would not be any problem. Look, she used Frostbite again in phase one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not returning All right, anywhere. Hank. If this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby boy. Let's rumble. That's my purse. I don't know you. you <laughs> right. Um. Bugger it. We'll do a buff this time just for the hell of it. Buff makes almost no difference. Ah, leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Right, quick. Cast. Where's she at? There. Stop 
using new moves. Oh, it hit her, but she still caught me. Oh yeah, it doesn't work on this one, but I forgot to turn it off. Oops. Um, she's not invincible while jumping, but I can't knock her out of the jump. So she'll take she'll still take some damage. Um but she'll still get me. There we go, fixed. Yeah, it'll, uh, if she jumps, she's going to get me. My cast will still do a bit of damage, but a lot less because she gets... I forgot what it's called now, but it's basically like a kind of damage reduction. Yeah, it goes through her, but... It still does a little bit of damage. It's almost not noticeable when it comes to spells, though. There we go, phase one done. One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. Frostbitten. Oh yeah, she's healing him, isn't she? Bitch. Come on, one more shot. Shit, Frostbite got me. I should have gone after her while she was healing, really. When she was on the other side of the room. Bum, 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 bum. Right. Stop it. You're supposed to dodge into my attacks, not away from them. Like that. Yeah, you see, like, she... She still took damage then, but it went straight through her.
I die now. Unless I can bonk her to death with my staff. Oh no, she's gonna explode, isn't she? And the snake. You've got the jump. There you go, I've got one hitting. I'm just going to do that like 200 more times and avoid her when she does this. Ah, uh, she's invisible. And she goes for like a. punch run <laughs> you'll be happy to know I'm working on a punch build for uh, Elden Ring as well right I'm going to nip back to Firelink and get myself some more casts Weep. yeah they've added a couple more fist weapons to uh Elden Ring that I've spotted. Hi, Greg. How are you doing? Ah, it is good. What need? I need more casts. Seven should do. Waggy Chan. So I've had a few attempts so far and I'm not done so well. So I've got her to the final phase like twice. And this time I did it with no casts left. Yeah, they've added uh, the fist weapons. Like it used to just be the Cestus. And in Dark Souls 2 you got the bone fist and like the claws and stuff. There's like five or six different fist weapons in Elden Ring. Wrong spell. However, what's the damage difference? Yeah, Mog's a fun fight. He took me like a few attempts. Right, I'm just going to check what the actual damage difference is between Heavy Soul Arrow and Crystal Soul Spear. <gasps> Hi, Vicky! Hi, everybody! Welcome in! You may have seen. Ru invaded the stream with 19 viewers. You are here to see me with my fat wizard struggling. Ow. Ow. What's a Tinia Pedis? Neo. <laughs> is, is that Latin for tiny penis? It sounds about right. How are you doing, Vicky? How's your hospital doing? Has it all, like, melted down yet? <laughs> no, no visible for you. Right, quicker casts seem to be doing all right. <laughs> yeah, I have a a fat wizard to deal with today. Fat rolling my way to victory. We're trying to. Yeah, I've been having a look at. Uh, that hospital manager game, I might have a do at it. Like I said before, I, I'm like a big fan of the hospital and Two Point Hospital. Two Point Hospital was actually one of the first games I streamed. Ah! So yeah, I'm gonna give it a look in 
at some point. I'll stop doing that frost thing. But she's gone invisible. I mean, she's going to do the healing thing, yeah, it does. Ow! Need to run away. I'm not running away. It does look like a great game. Got her! Right. We're in the final phase. We're going for the big boy spell. You remember she does the explosion when she first comes in. So, stand over this way a bit. There she is. Ah, she did that. When my spell ran out. Oh, she caught me. That's almost death in a single hit. No, it is death. <laughs> yeah, lurking is great. Lurkers are great people. Always. What's on stream? Either way, Vicky, you'll still be better than Greg's drawings when we played Droy. Some of those took us a very long time to work out. Run! Right, yeah, so Soul Spear is a lot more expensive, but it is a much slower cast as well. And does heavy stagger if it hits her. So, I'm thinking we use Soul Spear for this bit. I can just lay into him with it. Ow! Should be fire. I'm pretty sure this is doable though. Probably take me a lot of attempts, but it's doable. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> How has your run through uh, Elden Ring been going, Bart? Like, have you man managed to marathon your way through it yet? Achievements, nice. Yeah, I fucked up at least one of the NPC quests, so there's one that one quest that I can't actually do, like one achievement. So I'm working on doing the others, but there's one that's actually impossible for me. Unless I do it on my second character. Leave me alone. 
Right, we're doing alright for that phase. <laughs> Yeah, you did the exact same thing I did, Bart. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Right, she gets back up. We cast this. Oh, I forgot that. That was the line thing. But... That was painful. I got like... Didn't even get one spell off, it was my automatic one. Let's go. No invisible for you. Frostbite again. <laughs> that is thy place of belonging. I think this might be one of the ones where I'm actually going to have to need get help before I can get it through it. Like, I can get through phase one and two, but the moment I get to phase three, she's just ruining my day. It is like the fact that it fucks up your dodging, fucks up your movement in general, and it's got a decent damage proc on it. Right, let's top up. Yeah, she's like ruining my day in phase one. already. <laughs> I interrupted her swing by bashing her with staff. Yeah, you've seen, you should see people using frostbite in PvP in Elden Ring, but I came across a guy yesterday, he had two katanas, one with bleed, one with frostbite. And literally, it was just build up, build up, build up, dead. Yeah, I could hear you.
the frostbitten again. Yeah, there's some, some crazy stuff in PvP at the moment. Like, I remember seeing one-shot builds in PvP in Dark Souls 3, and some of those are bad enough. Like, there was a way you could uh, buff yourself up and use Great Combustion. And Great Combustion would basically be a one-shot if you hit with it. Yeah. Yeah, I've used like three heals on phase one. Don't want, don't want to be using any healing here, ideally. I also need to decide what games I'm streaming next. No idea what to do after Pokemon. After this, I will probably move on to Bloodborne. Oh, this is just a waste. Which? Yeah. After this, I'm probably after Dark Souls three. I'm definitely gonna do Bloodborne. I have no idea what to do after uh, Diamond and Pearl. They have like a bunch of games like knocking around, but so I might do Bayonetta. Because I have Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Switch. So I'm just not sure how well Bayonetta actually won't, runs on the Switch. I might have to try it out. Ah, oh, she got me. I could play. So I've got a bunch of stuff. Like my library of games for Xbox and PlayStation are both massive. Just because I always grab, grab like the games we gold on Xbox and the PlayStation Plus ones. some point. I don't know when. So I've not seen a solid date for it yet, but it's at some point this year. Right, I'm going to do one attempt with uh, Gale to see how much different it is. Come on, Gale. Yes, I have played Monster Hunter Rise. It is fun. It is more difficult than uh, 
Monster Hunter World is. Because it is. Monster Hunter World is really the odd one out. The rest of them are um, designed for like portable consoles like the Switch and stuff. I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I would recommend doing Iceborne first, to be honest. There's a bunch of fun stuff you can do in Iceborne. Ah, she got me again. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Gale doesn't show up straight away. There you are. Staggered. Let's top up. Yeah, Iceborne has a lot of fun stuff in it, especially the um, the later like Elder Dragon bosses. They're well worth trying. Right, can I actually dodge her thing this time? Or is she gonna cast it at him instead? to him instead. Right. She caught me in the next stab. Is she going to go after Gale so I get a chance to escape? She is. Right. Faster spell time. I need it otherwise she'll dodge. stick with him. Well, Gail, you are a phase two friend. Yeah, like Iceborne, you start with, like you get newer monsters. Some are in the same theme, some are massively different and then once you finish the base version of Iceborne you get the special island which has some of the crazy variant monsters on it and as well as the crazy variant monsters you get the new elder dragons some of which are crazy
Oh, as if that didn't... Oh, it did not correct. Oh, leave me alone. I don't have a cast. Uh... Final Fantasy 7. I installed it again the other day to try it and nah. Like I've played the remake but the original is just too old and janky now. Missing every single spell. There. Right now she goes invisible. Oh, he found her. Nah, Dave, just the game sucks. Or I didn't age well, one of the two. of it when we did the 24 hour stream but I can like show off the crazier parts of it yeah Secret boss fight takes forever to unlock for that game, Dave. Come on. Oh, it didn't knock her out of it. Return from whence thou camest, for that 
is thy place of glory. Yeah, I know what it takes to unlock the secret boss fight for Bayonetta, and it's like stupid impossible. Boom, 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 boom. Right. It's like, um, Unlock stupid frostbite. It's like unlocking the uh, secret outfits on Devil May Cry. You've got to S rank every every stage. Not only have you got to S rank every stage, you've got to S rank them on the hardest difficulties. It's stupid. I've seen um, I've seen somebody do um, the hell and hell mode on Devil May Cry trying to do that S rank every level and like the guy was losing his mind doing the first section Like that first section where you're playing as Nero. And it's supposed to teach you how to play the game. Right, so I can dodge the hit. Dodging the frost, no. One more cast. Oh, I wanted to knock her out of the invisibility. Failing at phase one now. Yeah, yeah, Gale will be at a separate location later, I know. Swap out one of my enhancement rings for the stamina ring. Uh, boosts, greatly boosts. Right, Jorgen in swapped for Chloranthi. Need that stamina for running and casting. And I forgot to summon Gale. No, oh, never mind.
You're in this corner, I know you are. as well. Right, get you in lock-in range. Do your explosion. Stop doing Snake of Doom. to this boss over and over. <laughs> anyway. Other people have a better time with it. Some have a worse. Right, come on, you're over here. I can hear you. Ah, uh, she call me.
Right. We're at phase three. We got our boy Gale with us. Where is she at? Where is she at? There she is. That's where she's going to pop up. Wait for the explosion. And then fire. Because if she gets too close, I am just dead. Book, caught in the corner. Distract her, please, Gail. Invisibility. Come on, Gail, where is she? Yes! Free to down. Bitch. So this is our way to the next DLC. Collect our zero souls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that final phase will have been impossible for me without Gale. Like the speed she was moving, I had no chance. Right, um, so, filing first. Unlock PvP. Don't have any shards. Let's see what her ashes give us. Let's go and see our buddy Legless Lilith. Although he's still here. Aha, that returned. So what does her soul give us? We can get her scythe. Or we can get his flail thingy. Nah, I think we'll use it for souls for leveling up. <laughs> right, uh, how much do I need for a level? <laughs> oh, you missed it. Um, unsurprisingly, we're going to go for more int. And then... We're going to use this. 20k, is that all? Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I did it with Gale, but... But... I was saying, I'm pretty sure... For me, fat rolling and casting, it would have been impossible. For me to do that final phase without help. Right. So, 
Oh yeah, there's something we need to do first. We need to go say hello to the little girl. Bump, 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 bump. There's the ladder. So yeah, the implication is the fire that Ariandel had in his ball thing has now been let loose and this entire painting is going to burn down. There she is, just happily kicking her legs. I can hear the fire crackle. And my thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting. And she is making a new painting for people to move into. And a very gentle place, so that it might make a home for someone, someday. My thanks, I will recall so that Yeah, same thing. So yeah, this painting is done, it's ended, it's all going to burn down and get destroyed and she's going to paint a new painting for people to live in. So, we will head this way. And we will head to the drag heap. What I'm going to do as well, swap you back for this. to the drag heap which is the beginning of the ring city and the last stretch but before we do I'm gonna go get a drink so I shall see you in a few seconds what
Hi back. Grabbed myself a coffee. Right. Let's go explore the drag heap. So this place is a mess. Basically, the world is collapsing in on itself. And this is the result. Hey look. It's one of the priest dudes. Oh, head square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that drowning didn't come. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In my paddy cup as well. Stone out hag. I've nothing for you, Miss Smithereen. I just like to stand. She's not even got a face. Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone armed hag would be brimming with goodies? I've none of that, not a smell. So you do have items, you've got embers, blessing, hidden blessing, coins, and the split leaf greatsword. <gasps> I'm being summoned to help an invader. PvP is still a thing. Blade of the Dark Moon time. See, this is why I always join Blades of the Dark Moon. Because... Wait, you just killed the invader just as I arrived. No, you didn't. Get him! <laughs> Poor guy didn't stand a chance. You see my uh, my one soul arrow took off like three quarters of his health. <laughs> Alright, so what I was going to say... This thing here, the split leaf greatsword, is a lot of fun. Basically you get to do like a whirlwind attack with it. But I won't be using it. Close the age of fire. Yeah. Lands meet at the end of the earth. So yeah, the Age of Fire is ending and basically it's all collapsing inwards. Will be one and the same. The great tide of yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep yeah. hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity, even now. Matterings of the very demon that Prince Lorian spoke of. Yeah. I'm horrible, so. Because that's not creepy at all. Keep right. Mind, Away we go. Time for new DLC stuff. So, something you have in this DLC is piles of ash you can fall into. That stop you taking fall damage. And we get to see the beginning of the creepiest enemies. So you got these dudes. Who summon human dregs. Which are those things. Mm. And human dregs do not stop coming, and there's a lot of them. And I really should have picked up my sword spell again. Oh well. This is basically what happens if you let the Age of Fire go on too long. This is like the very end of hollowing. You lose your mind, you lose your madness, and then your body starts wasting away as well, and you become one of these things. Really picked up my sword, my uh, sword spell again. So you got these, you know the caster ones. Like 
you over there. Ow! That was a lot. They also give a decent amount of souls. I'm up to 40k. But yeah. The uh, covenant that I'm in. Blades of the Dark Moon. This thing automatically summons you to help other people when they're being invaded. Every Souls game I've joined that Covenant just because it's, it's fun getting to randomly summon in to help people. Right, so we'll keep you. We'll put... Where is Flash Sword? We'll put... Crystal Soul Spear. And we'll go for... What else could be useful? Twisted Wall of Light might be useful. So, get me sword ready. Wee. Now let's get this nerd over here. Wasn't fast enough, he's already summoned them. But these are guys, I mean, miles easier to deal with with this spell. Hi, Trua! I am. Over the cliff you go. I am on to the final DLC. <gasps> this is a dead dragon. Or Drake. They're not technically dragons, all dragons are dead. It's like a petrified Drake. I am on to the final DLC. Hardest boss in the game waits for me at the end of it. <laughs> Hi Killy. Right. And there we have I remember you. No. These guys actually have a really cool thing where if you can hit that black hole on the top of their head, it just instantly stuns them. Your entrance song is to make everybody fall asleep, Kelly. <laughs> Just needs a hug. Well, he can find somebody else to hug. Right, what's up here? We have... Dagger. Which dagger is this? Either spell dagger. Dagger fitted with an aquamarine crystal engraved with a prayer in the old tongue to ward off incident. Perhaps it was parting gift given to one sent off to great travels. Ooh. See what it actually does. So if I two hand you Oh cool. It's a stance. Right, that's pretty awesome. Right, give me my candlestick back. Nail poo underscore. You're a snail poo. Yeah, it's basically a magic lightsaber. <laughs> Magic Death Hug. I have something similar. Um, if I remember right, this is a trap. Yeah. Oops. But I avoided the fall damage, and that's the important part. Whoa. Get off. Get off. Dick. Oh yeah, 
and they can do that as well. I forgot. That went very well. Although, at least, I can skip those notes on the stairs now. That's what it's about. Slow but sure progress. Away we go! Right, so this time... Get here. Got ya. Any more for any more? Yep. See, Trua, I have my own lightsaber. You still alive? Or are you just another one? Yeah, avoiding the fall damage is worth it. advantage of headphones is I can hear these guys spawning in. They make a nice little bubbly sound. Tinite scale, useful. How do I get there? Stairs. And that was a scythe, did it say? Where are you at? There. Right, what was this scythe? A queen dragon, murky hand scythe. Shafted scythe, wielded by the merman who rise from the depths, and wielded by black dampness imbued with the strength of dark. Dark. Cool. And then it'll have everybody's favourite ability. Quick step. Oh yeah, I remember what's here. It's an angel! And our friend Gale is point the way to go. Yeah, that's why I wanted a wall of light. You do not help much. Or are you a hold spell? Nope, you only last like half a second, you're useless. This way. Run! Uh... Now, the way these things work is they have a body somewhere I can kill. I've just got to remember where that body is. Lighting on. Is it around here? Oi! No, no, that, you cheeky bugger. Is it around here? It is not. It does have a cool ring. Ah, I didn't make it. I got a physical damage ring, which is always good. <laughs> yeah, the ring I just picked up was this one. Physical damage absorption, it's the plus three version. Right, we're going to swap out that wall of light spell because it's useless. Um, get rid of you. World decoy, fall damage. Not using a shield at the moment. We'll go for white dragon breath. Which 
just in case we get the chance to line some stuff up. Oh yeah, that angel thing as well. What this bitch turns into. Not this one specifically. But yeah, these dudes, when they reach the end of their journey, become that weird angel thing. Bum bum. Bum. Right, let's run. Let's go. Ignore you. Down the hole. Ignore fall damage. Ignore all you. Ignore all you. Run this way. But I do want to pick up those souls again, so... someone to another world, we're going to help somebody else. Is he doing it now? How are you? Maybe? No? Yes? No? Maybe? You sh have you stopped? Did you give up? They give up. Died. You may be strong, but you are not as strong as my spell. No worries, Bart. Right, that's you dead. Gonna sneak in on me, are they? Gauntlets and a chunk. Weird melty statues. I can hear something twinkly. It's out here. Also, the other corpse has something on it as well. Great shield. You... You alive or you dead? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Where's my sword gone? Lightsaber time! <laughs> Every time. Right. But now I have even more stuff I can skip past. Slow but sure process, dying lots in the meantime. Dragon breath straight off on these dude because I yeah, think it'd be funny. chunk. Right, so we're going to remember one of these dudes out here turns into the weird. I 
I'm gonna fly it, you'll kill you thing. Rustic coin. What's this? Looks like a trap. Chunk. Yeah, you do to just respawning, aren't you? Yeah, I got nothing for killing them. That's a run through area. But they are a trap. Bum 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 bum. Drop. And drop. And run. And bonk. about that fall is it always makes me nervous because I have seen it fail and people die to fall damage so it's possible unlikely but possible Stop that. There. Anything from you? I do miss the little splash of light in Elden Ring as well. That's like a handy thing for knowing that an item's dropped. It's like, ah, uh, if there's a little explosion of light on the enemy when you kill them, it means they've got an item for you. What's this? I know there's a secret here, where are you? Here. Where are you at? Where are you at? You? We got, we got. Kick a ladder down. Enough of you there. Right, I just realised what time it is, so I'm going to go back and grab my souls and whatever that item was, and then I'm going to finish and go hunting food. So we're going to run. So we got, we got Ari and Del down, we got Freed down, which is what I wanted to do, even though it took me like an hour and a half or so. You're a chicken. Bum 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 splat. Because I know there's enough souls there for a, at least a level. Well, I've already been going for like an hour and forty, so it's tough. Right, run past these nerds. Now, where was that ladder? There. This ladder. Get him. And then we need to grab every souls. Grab whatever this item is. Great soul bags. Sounds like it's sorcery of some kind. And then. on this and use the secret technique to get back home I am excited I have my tickets blocked I have my hotel booked it is just a matter of time now I don't know when the actual TwitchCon tickets go on sale but even if I do it it's only going to be for like one day 
There we go, we are level 102. So, this is me done. I'll believe it when I actually see him in Amsterdam. That's when I'll believe it. <laughs> Time to show the rest of us his tickets then. Then I'll believe. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's me done for today. I'm, uh... I'll be streaming again next week. Um... It'll probably be the same days. Although I might do a longer stream on Thursday, because I do have Thursday off work next week. But Tuesday's going to be a late one, because I'm working late on Tuesday. So... I will see all you nerds soon. Find somebody to raid, let's see who's online. Twitch. Twitch, who is online. Unless anybody has any recommendations. And yes, the name of the town, Kelly, is Right, who be online? Internet, hurry up. We got... Tell you what, we'll go and say hello to TK. He's uh making his way towards the end of Elden Ring. This preview's right, he's right there. So all of you those of you who want to avoid Elden Ring spoilers, might want to close your eyes, otherwise we're gonna go and say hello to TK Granola. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you for the sub raft. Thank you for the Rick Vicky. Thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for all the people lurking as well. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.